Have you ever wanted to give Bigfoot a pair of shoes? What about licking a banana while you are a banana? Or maybe even you just like the simpler things in life, like finding a perfectly round boulder. God, that's nice. These are just some of the weird nonsensical tasks you'll be doing to get the Platinum Trophy on Goat Simulator 3. Hikers on here with another Platinum Trophy video where we become a god of gods, a goat of goats, and yes, even a loot box buying Jesus, the all-powerful, all in the name of trophy hunting. Sub to the channel and like the video if you dig the content, it really helps out for small and newer channels. Let's get straight into it. Goat Simulator 3 is the long-awaited AAA cod killer we've all been waiting for, a sequel to Goat Sim 2. Two, or wait, hang on, they didn't make a second one. That's right, three comes after one, or something like that. Uh, the second Goat Sim game of the award-winning series pretty much imagined the first game, but with modern tropes of an open-world game in just about every damn pop culture reference you can think of. Honestly, that was probably the best part of the game, really. But I, I wasn't so sure if I wanted to pay full price for this one, knowing it would just be some silly fun in about 25 hours to get the plat. The first one had a solid chunk of collectibles, so I know this one would too and that part was pretty tedious in the last one uh, in this one it did get a little bit worse but once I saw that you can level up your goat castle with visual upgrades I was sold faster than the first guy that looked at a goat with questionable intentions Honestly, you can expect to see pretty basic trophies here with finishing the story through the completion of primary events and a handful of secret ones, uh, finding all the collectibles, which is um, typical collectibles, hitting ramps, and completing, uh, completing instincts, which are just specific challenges. Uh, lastly, doing some of the most random things you can think of, like what I mentioned starting this video. Yes, you have to do those things for some trophies, and it's amazing. Or more realistically, there are things that you would never think of, because I guess that's the freaking point. <laughs> uh, and then collectibles are obviously going to take the bulk of your time. The game starts with a Skyrim opening. Funny thing is, Todd Howard wasn't even involved in this one, and it still somehow got another release? What the hell? Is, is it ever going to end? No? Okay, that's cool. Whatever. Shortly after, <laughs> you hop off the wagon, and you just start doing weird shit. That, that's it. That's, that's the whole game. Open up the map, tag an event, and go shoot a grandma and get teleported to an OG Doom level with a bunch of granny clones instead of demons. Or maybe that's the same thing. I don't know. And that actually unlocked a body piece to have the grandma on your back and able to shoot as well. It didn't do anything. You just go around shooting people, causing havoc, just doing nonsense. But it, it's still pretty cool. What other game do you get to do that in? Not. That, that's it. Randomness like this is what's going to take up the majority of your story playthrough. Most are pretty easy and silly from finding and moving items to the appropriate location, uh, to light puzzles in doing things with specific outfits, nothing too crazy. The bulk of these are pretty easy, but some can be tricky. Plenty of guides out there though. Um, if you do need the help, I know I had to pull up a couple from uh, some specific things that were there more spread out than I anticipated. But again, pretty, pretty straightforward for the most part. Completing all of the marked main events and a small handful of secret events will uh, be enough to fully upgrade your castle and allow you to face the uh, complete meta as hell final boss. No spoilers, of course, but it was some solid fourth wall breaking fun. Uh, definitely worth seeing it. it. It's just, it's like the devs are talking right to you. It's, it, it, it's a fun time, especially for a game that is not intended to have a story. It, it was a nice little breather from some of the dumb shit you're doing throughout the game. Uh, but the rest of the Platinum will have you hitting ramps, finding collectibles, and completing instincts. Totally normal things that goats do in the real world, uh, of course, really. I mean, if you've ever watched Nat Geo, you know goats do these things all the time. Uh, it does get rather tedious as there are 200 trinkets and 99 instincts that mostly require specific outfits and actions, um, but it's, st it's still not too bad. It, because, you know, it, it's still wacky and it's still silly. And it's just so outrageous that you're, you're going to be laughing the whole time. You're going to be having fun, even if you are kind of just dredging through it a little bit. Um, my favorite part of this game, uh, outside of the silliness, was the castle upgrades. Like I mentioned earlier, I am an absolute sucker for visual upgrades. And they're actually pretty, pretty huge. Even allowing you to change up the decor in your castle, uh, which is also part of one of the trophies. And the coolest part to me, all of the events you do are somehow incorporated into your castle which is just a really neat touch whether it's uh, certain npcs in a spot or like banners on a wall or um having the banana peels around you you'll know what i mean when you play but it is just really nice for the people that do appreciate visual upgrades 
All in though, Goat Sim 3 was a wacky as hell platinum to get and really, really, really fun. Not anything that's worth bragging about, but definitely a solid breather platinum for some casual fun between more intense titles. So let me know what your favorite weird part of this game was in the comments below. And again, if you dig the content, I really appreciate the subscribe and the like. That helps out so much being uh, new and unknown. So thank you guys. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. <clears throat> Those are my segues now. <clears throat> Productions.